Hello you guys, another day, another run vlog. Oh, I have my AirPods in, hopefully this doesn't mess with the quality. But I was, I'm just like, oh my God, guys, I'm so tired today, I did not want to do this. I was like, I just don't want to run, but I listened to the Atomic Habits book, like just doing things step by step. So first thing is I got my ring light in place and then I just picked out my outfit. Like I just laid it out and like put it down on the couch and I was like, okay, hey, this is like step one and two. It actually works, guys. Don't sleep on the Atomic Habits thing. But yeah, we're just gonna probably do another 5K today. Like I said, my training plan does not start until January 8th, but I'm gonna take you guys along. We're gonna just go downtown uh, and we're gonna drive to my one of my favorite little run paths. So that's probably what we're gonna do. Little 5K relaxed run. Let me just grab my like sunscreen and stuff and let's get ready. Okay. So first thing, just put our hair up. Oh, I should take my earrings out. Loosely. Don't need to run with the earrings. And I'm just like waiting for another video to upload. So I'm like, we might as well, while we wait, do a little run vlog, you know, get them all done. Okay, this is gonna be like a little ponytail so that we don't get sunscreen in our hair, our hair. It's temporary, it's okay. Let's get some Hawaiian Tropic, my personal favorite, it's, Literally the best, like, sunscreen ever. I love it. I love the way it smells. It's so moisturizing. Feels good on the skin. And we can't really gauge if it's a good sunscreen because I don't really get sunburnt. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, maybe if I had whiter skin, we could be, like, I mean, I could tell you guys if I could actually ever get sunburnt on my runs, but I don't think I've ever gotten, I got sunburnt one time in Thailand on my run, but it was like a scolding hot day. Uh, okay, it's not that cold outside. I feel like we could do a high pony t today. I only have this like silk little, okay, let's use this as a mirror. Yeah, it's not that like chilly, because normally if it's chilly, I'll wear a hat. But today it's feeling like, let's just go high ponytail. It's just like that anticipation before you go, you're like, it's like my stomach is in knots. I don't know if that happens to you guys. Like my stomach is in knots. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this. But you know what? You just have to get over that and jump in the water, you know? In the figurative water. But yeah, I'm trying to get changed. Okay guys, so we have our outfit on. I'll show you guys in a minute. I'm just going to, I put like deep conditioner in my hair and I made it like a better braid, but we're just gonna braid the hair and got my flip belt on, everything ready. I'm feeling more like into it now, you know, like I'm ready for the run. We're going, we're getting going. We can do this, my hair is tangled. I don't have my hair brush here, so it's okay. It's okay, cause we're gonna shower right after anyway. I put a bunch of deep conditioner in my hair, by the way, that's such a good tip. If you go running a lot and you're a girl or you just have long hair, uh, before you go for your run, put a bunch of deep conditioner in there and then you can like shower it out so your hair doesn't get too dry from showering so much. Cause if you have dry hair like me and you're running a lot and you get so sweaty, so you have to wash your hair every day or like every day that you run, your hair is gonna get super dry. But if you do the deep conditioner thing, it won't get as dry. And I use, use the Shea Moisture Jamaican black castor oil, I believe. Deep conditioner. Okay, so, boom. Hair is in a nice, tight braid. Gonna get the jacket on. So we have our just black leggings. I'm just wearing these Nike socks. The punch it shirt, flip belt, and I'm just gonna put this pink jacket on top over it because it's actually a little bit of a chillier day today. I might also wear gloves, but I'm not sure. I feel like I will because I like to hold my phone and do my every kilometer updates. I do little kilometer updates for you guys. So, and then I normally put my AirPods case and my keys and all my stuff in here. And then I normally just like hold my phone. But anyway, we are all ready to go. Let's get out there. Okay guys, one kilometer in, five minutes and three seconds is our pace. It's just a relaxed uh, five kilometer run today. So that's pretty good. Um, there's so many people outside because it's literally such a beautiful day. 
So I had to wait until there was a part of the path that was empty. Not me being like it's a relaxed space and I can't even talk. Well, either way. I'm just... Yeah, once you get out there, you're out there, you know? You just have to get out there and start. Because the hardest thing is just starting, you know? Like going outside and letting your skin touch the cold. But I'll see you guys at the 2K mark. Hey, 2K in. Um, I forgot my pace. Dang. I'll tell you guys my average pace at the... Um, kilometer mark then but I still have three to go so I'm still getting used to filming a bullet it's so awkward but it's okay okay guys see you at the three kilometer mark okay guys three kilometers in oh my gosh I didn't hear the time again I just started my video but I was just thinking how much I love the city because I never get harassed here or anything like Everyone here is so respectful and nice. Like, I was in America for two months in Utah and Arizona. I barely ran because of how much I would get honked at. And, and I was in a suburban park, but I would get honked at and yelled at and not in a cute way. Like, they wouldn't just ask me out or something. It was in a gross way. Like, you know the difference, obviously. But yeah, anyway, we're three kilometers in and two to go. So I'll see you guys at the 4K mark and I'll remember to get the pace this time. Okay hey guys, we're 4K in and the average pace is 519 by the way. But yeah, we have one kilometer left to go until we're all done. What an easy run, I just feel like I'm getting so much better at it, so much faster. And it just doesn't feel hard to do 5K anymore, like it used to feel really hard to do 5K for me. But yeah, let's get this last kilometer done so we can go get our Americano. Okay guys, we're all done. That was my third fastest 5K. 2638. I'm pretty sure. I have to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's what it said. So, oh my god, it's feeling so much easier. And it's feeling so much like better every single time I go. I just feel like I don't know. I don't even feel like I'm uh, struggling at all. Like a 5K used to be so much to me, and now it's like literally nothing. So, I'm really happy about that. Sorry, I'm just so hyper aware of my surroundings when I'm in public and I'm scared for my life all the time. That's one annoying thing about running outside is being scared. But anyway, yeah, we're all done. Let's go get our well-deserved Americano. And I'm just so proud of myself that I came out and ran again because I don't want to miss any double days. But yeah, anyway, guys, let's go to the cafe. Hey guys, okay, we're back. Oh my gosh, it gets so cold. Um, sorry, it gets so dark so fast here. Like you guys, we went for a 26 minute run and it's already dark. Like it was so light before I was, just before I left. But I haven't even gotten my first sip of coffee. Yet. Whew, that was nice. I'm so glad I went and got that done. Like you guys, it always feels good to just get her done. You know what I mean? And even after I shower, like the deep conditioner is gonna rinse off. It's just gonna feel so good. Okay, I just heard something. But yeah, I haven't even gotten my first sip of coffee yet. So let's open this up. Black Americano. Steam's still coming off it. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. 
And I'm so happy that I went for that because guess what? I was sitting here literally waiting for this video to upload, right? It's still at 45%, guys. Oh my gosh. Like the struggle is real sometimes with YouTube. Like, please take the time, guys. Like, comment, you know, help it out. Because I can't believe it's still uploading. I would have been waiting here. Like, I'm actually so glad I got that run and, you know, got something in while I was waiting because it's taking forever. But that was really, really good. Um, I was thinking maybe go to the sauna, uh, but I'm thinking another day, another time. I still have to get used to filming when I'm out because it's like kind of awkward, you know, everybody staring at me and stuff. But yeah, like I said, like Calgary is so good. Everybody here is so nice and safe. Like, I feel like when I first started running, I was scared about that. Obviously, you know, I'm a girl, whatever, whatever. No, it's nice here in, in Calgary. Like everybody here is so respectful and everything just feels like safe. Um, when I was in Arizona and even in Utah, honestly, I got like, just honked at so much like it's, it was just crazy i was like i can't believe they do that so much here like i don't know if it's maybe a u.s thing because in canada that has never happened to me like ever i've never been honked at the most well i don't know it just doesn't happen that often everybody here is so respectful you know and i feel like in america it was not like that and i barely even ran after a few times of it happening like i got so scared that i stopped running and i literally just I, I don't know, I didn't even like go out that much. The fact that it happened and I barely went out and I barely like left alone, you know, like went anywhere alone and it was just happening so often, it was crazy. And not to say that it matters or whatever, I know, don't worry, but I would always wear, I would always be so covered up. Like I would always be wearing a long sleeve, even in the heat of Arizona, baggy jeans and a long sleeve, um, like long shirt, you know what I mean? So it was like, what the frick? going on here ah that first sip of americano it feels so good and i'm so proud of myself that i got that done i did not want to do that run like no part of me thought i was gonna even go and get her done so i'm so proud of myself oh yeah and i have to go get a rotisserie chicken because i have leftover rice and i'm gonna do like a stir fry so i feel like what's easiest to do rotisserie chicken some vegetables stir fry or I don't know, actually, I'll go to the store and like see what the vibe is and what they have. But I don't know, maybe if you guys leave in the comments what you would make in your stir fry. I'm thinking like a rotisserie chicken, I don't know. I feel like that's healthy and good for you. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to another run vlog. Another great workout completed in the beautiful city. I can't believe how hot it still is out there. If you enjoyed the video, it means so much to me. If you can quickly like it, comment, and if you like these and you want to see more, make sure you do not forget to subscribe, guys. Have a great rest of your day. I love you guys. Bye.